In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how model Zen can convert any SPICE netlist into an X model netlist in System Verilog. The example I'm going to use is a continuous time linear equalizer, which has a topology of a differential amplifier with capacitive degeneration. The first step to generating models from this schematic is to generate netlist. You can either use your own SPICE netlister, such as ADE, or you can use the X model netlister. The resulting SPICE netlist looks like this, which has a list of elements such as transistor, capacitor, and register, all in a SPICE format. Now, let's generate model from this SPICE netlist. The command name is model gen. We're going to soon change it to model zen. You can use model gen in two modes, the graphical mode and the batch mode. I'll first demonstrate using the graphical mode. The option to invoke the graphical mode is dash dash GUI. It opens up a graphical window where you can type in the name of the input netlist file the name of the output model file and the technology configuration file. There are more options available and you can see them by going through these different tabs. By pressing OK, ModelGen will start converting this SPICE netlist into an X model netlist. What you notice is that for each element contained in the netlist, model gen runs a little spice simulation that extracts the IV characteristic as well as the CV characteristics. The generation is done. Let's see what we got. The resulting model is described in system variable format, of course. It has a list of X model primitives, such as capacitor, register, and N MOSFET. In fact, these are the same collection of elements that you have seen in the original SPICE netlist. These numbers you are seeing here are the parameters fitted to the IV and CV characteristics of SPICE simulation results. To get an idea of what this model gen has done, you can go into the model gen.sim directory where you'll see a list of SPICE components that are characterized and view some of the fitting results like this. In this example, model gen has uh, fitted the IDS to VGS curve, this blue line, to a five point piecewise linear curve. The second way of running model gen is to do it in a batch mode. You can do that by giving all the information in the command line, such as the technology configuration file, the input netlist, and the output model name. What you notice here is that the second time, the model gen has finished almost instantly because it is caching some of the results stored in this modelgen.sim directory. I have not explained what's in the technology configuration file. Let's see what's inside. Technology configuration file defines some of the information required in order to run spy simulation on your netlist. That includes the location of the spice model library, as well as the list of the devices supported in the technology. For instance, this line says we should map NMOS in this technology to an X model primitive called NMOS fab by extracting the DC characteristics into a piecewise linear function with five points. Now, let's see how well this model works in simulation. 
To do that, I'm going to use this transceiver simulation that I have explained in the code simulation tutorial. The test bench I'm going to use for the comparison is called TB underscore model gen. This test bench runs actually two set of simulation, one with the spice netlist for the CTLE block, and the other with the model that we have generated. Without further explanation, I'm going to run the simulation and see what we get. It is launching VCS with XA as a SPICE engine because part of the simulation involves SPICE netlist. Simulation is done. Let's see the waveform. I have a two top level modules, the CTLD underscore basic, which is the uh, result using the SPICE netlist for the CTLE block. And the second top level module is called model gen, which is the result using the model we just generated. By comparing the two, you see that we have got the waveform that agrees very well with the SPICE simulation results. Yet, if you compare the number of points on the waveform, the SPICE waveform has a lot more points than the waveform using the X model. Well, this is due to the fact that X model uses a functional expression for each event and uses the very efficient event-driven algorithm. In summary, this demo shows you how model Zen can convert any SPICE netlist into an X model netlist in System Verilog. By using model Zen, you can create model from analog circuits with peace of mind and run efficient system level simulation using X model. Thank you.